I'm Juby and this is Justin and this is our baby Azalea. After we got married we bought a bus and for the last two years have been building it out into our full-time home. Living in a tiny house community form and raising our ever-growing baby. So join us for the ride as we quit the 9 to 5 and begin our travels in our big red pepper. Hey guys, so today I'll be working on installing our new two burner stove top. Very sexy. Looks really, really awesome. We had to make some adjustments to what was originally the location for our stove. So right now I'm cutting this piece of wood to size in hopes that it will come out and look good where our new burner top is going to go. And uh, if I seem confused, I'm just running these through my head to make sure I'm going to make the right cuts because this is our only piece of wood left. When I cut it, i got to cut it right. Otherwise, Juby is going to kill me. Here it is. It's a scrap piece of wood. This is kind of the only thing that was left over from that really large, beautiful oak wood. So, wish me luck, guys. I hope this is right. Could be better, but not too bad. Now I'm gonna cut a coal right here so that our burner can fit inside. It's gonna go in just like this. All right guys, it's by no means perfect, but I think it's gonna fit. Let's see. I just got her in here. Now I'm just checking everything for leaks. Make sure we don't have any leaks in the uh, propane line. So good. Now look how much extra storage space we have. Zadia and I just got back from the post box. We went for a walk. Special surprise to see the kitchen is new and ready. Yesterday I got finished with the installation, but I'm having some issues with the connection of the propane line. And so I need to get one more piece today. It was just a little fitting I'm missing. The oven was good, but it used a fair amount of propane. And then when it would heat up, it would take forever to heat up. And then once it got to temp, it would go like overboard and get like to 500 degrees. And then it wouldn't ever like stay. You had to like kind of turn it down and then turn it up. And so the temperature was like, so the things that we did cook in there, I made banana bread in there one time, and then we made bread in there one time. Can we read? I can't remember. They did not taste good. Overcooked on the outside, but undercooked on the inside. So with that, we're excited about our two-ton burner. And we have more storage space. Check it out. Ooh. We're still organizing. On another note, I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed today. Not excited. They pop my tooth out my face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's like, why are you talking weird? Yeah, I didn't even feel it. I feel fine. I'm good. good. My sunglasses were just broken. <sighs> really like those sunglasses. Anyway, just wanted to plug this little uh, section right here and give a shout out to Jeanette Smith, the doctor that ripped the tooth out of my face. You did great, wonderful job. Honestly, I don't even feel it. It doesn't even hurt. It was amazing. Literally, I sat in that chair, talked to them for like 30 minutes, and then five minutes later, my tooth was gone. She showed it to me too, it was disgusting. Also, new subscriber as well. So I just wanted to say, Jeanette, good luck following your dreams. And thank you for making wisdom tooth pulling. Really not that bad. Glad to have that sucker gone later that day. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, we have been making summer rolls lately because it's been summer and it's only super appropriate. So I'm going to show you how we've been doing it and what we use. Organic baby kale, oh. carrots, cucumber, peppers, cilantro, avocado and spring onions and olives for a light snacking. So you put whatever toppings you want. Maybe eat some as you do. Hold it up like an Asian burrito. 
I get a little a little over ambitious with my toppings. I think it's key to tuck in the sides, hold it nice and tight. And roll. That was a good one. Nah. As you can see, I like mine short and stubby, and Justin's like him long and lean. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have sweet Thai chili sauce and soy sauce. So I know we already celebrated our two year wedding anniversary, but Justin got us a couple of tickets to go and see. <laughs> John Butler and Trevor Hall. So we're gonna go and get down tonight while some friends look after little baby Azalea. And we've had this wine since our wedding, leftover, leftover boxes, and we're finally opening it. We didn't open it. We were gonna have it for our one year anniversary, um, but obviously I was pregnant. So we decided to wait till our two year anniversary to save it and let it age. So it's aged and Let's drink it, wedding wine. <laughs> also can't get too wild tonight because um, I have an event tomorrow that I'm bending at. I've got a market and yeah, pretty much spent the day prepping, finishing up a couple pieces and getting ready to go. I haven't vended in a market in a really, really long time. So this is quite exciting. <laughs> exciting <laughs> um, uh, yeah what else is there to say <laughs> I think she just said it is that right Azalea are you saying hi Azalea what do you say you know this is your second night away from us only your second night girl we need to leave you behind a little bit more go on some dates more often yeah So at this venue, Juby and I had one of our very first Raleigh dates, a very special time where we got to see Iron and Wine, and it was a time where we dressed up, we got fancy, and it was uh, it was so special because it was one of the first dates, real dates that we had mm -hmm. after reuniting after our stint in Hawaii and after she moved back to the States from the UK, and so. That is one of the reasons why this place is so special. So it feels good to come back, crack a beer, and get ready for the show. Mm -hmm. gallons is like $109. Work hard, play hard, isn't that what they say? We had a wonderful evening out. I have today a market, so it's bright and early, about 8.40, and Justin is quickly pouring resin in the toilet room because we need to get that done and let it dry and solidify all day today while we are outside of the bus. So yeah, we've been finding that there's a good balance between working hard and playing hard lately, which is quite exciting. We play often, 
or not so often actually without azalea but we do try and make it a point to play hoard when we play hoard we play with azalea all the time we do play with azalea all the time we go to all azalea kinds of fun well baby hard. activities and keep her stimulated and engaged with other babies her age just so that we can meet parents and all that kind of stuff so we do all kinds of pg rated activities so sometimes it's nice to make it a little bit more uh exciting for the adults anyways um so here we go, we're going to continue pouring the resin and then onwards to the mole kit. Maybe get a coffee first. Mix and pour. Super simple. One to one ratio. Hardener to epoxy. And Hopefully it works this time, yeah? Hopefully it works, yes. Tragedy! -da -na 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 -na. Tragedy! It's dripping through again, guys. So where we drill the hole for our nature's head to have like air pulled through with the fan and the vent. Unfortunately, the resin is like dripping through. Just that, that small patch there. All of this is from our gray water, which we need to drain into the bed, but. So we're gonna just quickly update you with what happened with the toilet room. We finished the resin. It was a frantic disaster and very stressful. And we start filming quite abruptly because we didn't want all the resin to go to waste again. We totally knew. So it. yeah, we did. We ended up putting a piece of wood, and please, please stop, Azalea. We ended up putting a piece of wood and using that chewing gum stuff that we used for our sunroof to seal the edges so it didn't seep through. Um, and so the grand reveal. Ta da! Put the light. That's you. Yeah, you know, this is not grand in any way <laughs> at all. <laughs> the reveal. It's actually quite janky. The regular reveal. <laughs> A revealing. <laughs> what do you think, Azalea? By no means is perfect or good looking, but the job is done and our toilet can go back in there and it has solidified this time. So, check. If you ask me, all the beautiful imperfections are just a piece of art. You know... You make me feel like I'm so depressing and angry at everything in life. I was the one that said all those nice things that you said, and you said that shit about it not looking good and it was disgusting, so I was just doing that to say what you said, and now you're over here making it seem like everybody's going to think that you're the more positive person. That's not fair. <laughs> Babe, Anyways, uh, I mentioned how cute you are. Transition are continues. <laughs> We're going to the market two days ago. Let's go. <laughs> you look so cute. The wind's blowing in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. understanding what routine works for you and like how you can 
do your work day and give yourself the time for play is something that you kind of learn over time. Um, and we're still figuring it out. And with this new transition, kind of going from being stationary and just having a full-time job and being gone all day and me taking care of Azalea all day and having to like work and take care of her. Um, but now like we can both kind of be here for her throughout the day and take turns and take time for each other. It's freaking magnificent, to be honest with you. And so I think the biggest thing I would say here is try to find your balance between work and play. I remember back last year when we literally had no play. We were working on the bus nonstop. I think we literally almost lost our minds. Actually, we did lose our minds but a couple all times. But to reward us with this life like yeah. yeah well and just free time i feel like there's more free time we still work super hard but we're no longer building our house and so there's more time that's available to us and it is being used wisely i, I feel i think so too you're crushing it babe you want to. and i think that yeah i mean that's pretty much it you know work hard play hard play. till you die yeah and um also with that i will say it's been amazing to see um, a bunch of new subscribers come and join the family we so much welcome you um, to our little crazy life journey and are excited to have you guys on board and for the rest of you folks hit that subscribe button smash that like button or whatever it is or do all those funny things check out the patreon page if that's so interesting you and um we're gonna keep on making some content. We got one more video before we leave. One more, how you feeling? Good. Yeah? Yeah. I've been telling him, because I know a lot of you have been wanting to do a dreadlock video. Yes. He's gonna go to his hairdresser soon. We yeah. need to book, book a day with her. Working on that, but we've got a dreadlock video coming, coming. soon. We've got lots of fun things. Lots of fun things. Um, so with that, should we give our outro? Practices. We rehearsed okay. it. Here it goes. Ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you for joining us this time. We'll see you next time. Oh, okay.